doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I am here with a short little tutorial to show you how to get your micro bit to do some speaking. And so this is assuming that you already know how to use alligator clips to clip into either your headphones or to a speaker. And if not, you can check out the previous tutorial. So we're not going to cover those logistics. What we're going to do is take a look at the code. Now, if you haven't used Python coding before and all you've been using is make code, then this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve but not impossible for you by any means. And so the easiest thing, especially if you are in a school that uses Chromebooks, um, we're going to want to go to the website python.microbit.org. And when you go there, it's going to take you to this page that you see here on the screen. This is going to allow us to write some Python code in a way that the micro bit will be able to understand. And you're going to get this simple code here to start. And what you can actually do is actually check this to make sure that your micro bit is actually connected. And so what you can do is you can go here to download um, on my particular Mac. My file is, is right here. So I can show in Finder. And then when I drag this over to my micro bit, which I have plugged in, it's going to download it and then what you can't see unless maybe I'll add and then the image of a heart and so if you're looking at this screen while this is loaded I'm just double checking boom it's working for me uh, we're in good shape this is what's going on we are importing the micro bit library so that we can understand the coding and the micro bit can understand the Python code and this is basically just saying if this is true, this is just turning the micro bit on essentially is we're going to display the words hello world and we can say this to make whatever, I can say I love coffee here and then display show, it's going to show the image and so in make code when we had these over here, let me pull this up so you can kind of understand this a little bit for those that haven't used Python before when I go over here to this make code platform and I go to the blocks um, let me just go to a new project here so I don't ruin this one. When I go to these blocks here, here are the icons. And when we draw down, see all these words here? So here's heart. These are the words. This is what they're labeled. So these are all preset. And so we could actually type any of these symbol names when I hover over them over here into this image heart. And it would actually display it on the screen. But our question today is about how to get our micro bit to speak. So we're going to do these commands here. We're going to bring in the micro bit from micro bit import to bring in that library. All right. And then we're going to import another little library, a, a, a sub library or um, routine in here called speech. And this is going to allow us to have our micro bit do some talking. And at the very simplest, let's just have it do its basic. So speech.say, and then we're going to do parentheses and then quotation marks. And the quotation marks is actually what our micro bit is going to say. So if we just do the standard default hello world, and I close that out, you can see that my, what it's going to say is in purple here. See how this is in purple? That lets us know we're in good shape. And then a comma, actually, let's just keep it like that for now. All right, now if I go to download this, and I go to run, so I'm going to go ahead and download this file here, and I'm just going to put my headphones, I know you can't see my micro bit, uh, but my headphones up to my speaker, and I drag this over, you should be able to hear the micro bit say, hello world here, so let's see if we can get this to work. So you can hear it say hello world there a little bit. So here's what's really cool about the micro bit is we can actually do a lot of great things with the micro bit to change how the voice sounds. So we actually have four different ways in which we can control how the voice or the speech synthesizer actually sounds. So if we have this, we're just going to keep this as is. And then we can go, I'm just going to demo some a couple other things here. And I'm just going to actually copy this here. Uh, um, and I'm going to change this to I love coffee. Because, I mean, 
who doesn't, right? So just so you get a sense for what we can do here. And now we can change how this sounds. So we have one option is pitch. And I'll put all this onto the website in the show notes down below so you can check this out. But pitch allows us to figure out how high or low the voice sounds. And so we have a range from zero, which is very, very high, to 255, which is, as they say in a lot of the tutorial guides, like very white sounding. So um, let's make this 175. And you should be able to hear the difference um, in this pitch. And actually, let's just do another one. Let's just go... A really high pitch voice so let's make it like uh, I don't know let's go 30 there we go so let's download this and then you should be able to hear the three different versions you're gonna hear the basic and then low and then high I love coffee. I love so you can kind of hear the different kind of pitches there um, as we go through that you also have another range that you can do. And so if I copy this here, so we got pitch, which is the high and low of the tone of the voices. Um, we can also go this way. So let me drop this down and let me show you another one. Um, as opposed to pitch, we can go to speed. So you notice that I think the voice is sounding really fast. Um, so we can slow it down from zero, which, which they call impossible up to 255 which is like bedtime story so I'm gonna slow it down let's just go um, 0 and um, let's do another one here and let's go to 255 and you know what let's let's keep these in here let's let's so you can hear the differences um, we can just separate all these by comma. So let's do this just so we can keep things going. So I'm going to go here so you can hear the differences. And I'm going to paste there. All right, so we've got regular, and then we've got deep voice, and then deep voice super fast. And then we can go deep voice, super slow. And then we can go the same thing here. Let's go just like we did here to keep the routine the same. So let's make this, um, let's just make this 10 because zero is going to be impossible anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. And then we will check this out. So now we're going to have a bunch of different versions. So now we can adjust the speed as well. So let me go ahead and load this to the micro bit. I love coffee. I love coffee. I love coffee. I love coffee. So you can start to hear the different kind of versions as it kind of played through there. Hopefully that's that's making um, some sense to you. Um, so now we have another option, and we can actually go in here now. And if I just keep this going here, and I can actually paste in. And I'm going to change the speed here just because I feel like it's just a little, a little too much speed. And this pitch is a little hard to read sound as well. So I'm going to make this 50 just to make this a little bit easier for you to hear. There we go. Okay, so now um, let's see what we got. 70, 50, there we go. And now we have another option which is called mouth. And what mouth is like how tight-lipped or overly enunciating the voice sounds. So they do this as a zero being like a ventriloquist dummy where the mouth doesn't move at all. Um, and like 255 being, geez, I don't know if you guys even know who Foghorn Leghorn is, but um, great cartoon um, to kind of give you this enunciation. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm just going to do a 30. And then let's do the Foghorn Leghorn one. So we can keep 
that the same and let's just make this uh, let's make this 230 so that way you can hear that and then we can do the same down here and so now you're starting to get hopefully a sense of all the different ways in which we can control the mouth or the sound of our of our robot here and so then we got one more here let's make that 230 okay so now if we go ahead and download this one all right so now we're hearing all sorts of different voices normal and the pitch and then with different speeds and then now we've got the mouth So you can hear there how it was enunciating the different voices. And then the last one that we can do, um, and this is starting to be a little long here, but it's okay. Um, we've got one more that we can do. And this one is actually, we'll make this 30, is throat. And this is how relaxed or tense the tone of the voice is. So a zero would be like the the voices they're just falling apart they're just a hot mess and 255 um, would be um, totally chill so let's just keep it kind of like how we've been doing so let's just do a 30 here and then we can do another one uh, let's make that 230 and let's make the speed just normal shall we so let's just make that one Let's make these 150 just so it's a little more obvious here. Then we can drop oop, I'm gonna drop this down so we can do it with this higher pitch speed. And actually we can just knock this out. We don't need to hear all that. Alright, so let's go ahead and download this. And now we're gonna hear kind of a little bit of everything. All in one kitten caboodle. And here comes the throat one. So you can play around with it. Um, keep in mind that the speech synthesizer isn't perfect, but you can play around with all these different kind of commands and really get it rocking and rolling so it sounds pretty good um, and then you can start to do a lot of cool things now just remember that if you're going to be using this micro python or this python dot micro bit then you want all your other code from make code to work you're going to have to rewrite it so i'm going to put in there um, in the show notes the bbc micro bit python um, document where you can then click on it has all the options for how to use buttons and images and things like that so you can try to connect the code as well Hope you found this helpful. Let me know what questions you have. And if you create something cool with speech and voice, please, please, please share. I would love to see what you are creating. Stay awesome, everybody.